understand the peculiarities of Lagos State, how it is housing a lot of persons who are not indigents mm -hmm. of the state. And thus far, one would say there's been that peaceful coexistence between indigents and the non-indigents. How mm. do you intend to perhaps deepen that, since you say you're bringing something different? Then, then, to, then to add to that, there are a number of your, of your party followers who are saying that uh, Lagos is no man's land. Do you believe that, being your name being Rose Vivo? OK, thank you. It's, it's a very sensitive topic. And I, but I think it's important to start talking about these things. Mm. I'm a very proud indigenous of Lagos. And my family history goes back. The first colonial government rented their property from my family. Mm. Um, my family produced a second judge in Nigeria. Mm. And we're proud Lagosians. At the same time, my family his, my, fam, my heritage is one of mixed parentage. My mother is Igbo, my wife is from Anambra. So I've had a chance, I spent Christmas in the Southeast. I came to spend New Year with my grandparents, Lagos Island, and in Lagos in general. So I, I, I represent what I would say is a Southern Nigerian. At the same time, I vehemently disagree with the idea that Lagos is no man's land. It is extremely disrespectful. Do you tell, if you say that, do you go and tell some of your follow, some of your party followers? Because that is that the core of you believe that the core of your party followers are those who are coming out with that narrative. Sir, can you go? Sir, can you say sir, sir, public I'm, I'm, I'm literally. You see, so, you see. You yes. see. You see. I'm a politician. Yeah. Right? But you notice. I'm not doing this. Yeah. I've told you what I mean. I told yeah. you what I believe. Mm -hmm. But there's something unfortunate happening. Mm. You have people on social media. You mm. have people that are taking up pictures, putting Igbo names, and creating a lot of discord. It's very, very unfortunate. And it's happening, it's happening at such a scale that is very, very sad. Because these things actually start to affect people's lives in reality. Because people get angry. They now have start to have attacks I, I, and reprisals no, and everything. Are you saying that it's not real that uh, that they are saying that they got? I'm saying I'm saying that some people might say that, but the way it has come into the mainstream is actually very orchestrated. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So I'm saying on TV now that Lagos Lagos have founding members, people that have been here for a long time, that have contributed immensely to the development of the state. Mm. But the culture of Lagos, like you said, is one of coexistence, is mm. one of openness. Namdi yes. Aziki is largest political base was in Lagos State. Mm -hmm. And he was doing this in partnership with Lagos elites of families that are Lagos indigents. So for me, I want a Lagos Although that... one time he got in conf conflict with them when he tried to impose himself on the... No, but as, you as know, premier, that was the politics. And then, and, and then people now start feeling <laughs> that let's go back to tribal things. Yeah, because, but, because, because of this same kind of narrative that, look, look, we, we own you. I, so I, 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 yes, so, yeah. so for me... I want to create a situation where, you know, Lagos State by itself has, and Lagos indigenous generally have a spirit of coexistence. I want to restore that. I want a situation where people are not paying taxes for three years, and then when it's close to elections, people start to, they now start to be othered. You are not one of us. But if we collected their money for three years, threatening them to close their markets, I want to enable businesses for everybody in Lagos, whether you speak Igbo, whether you speak Hausa, whether you speak Yoruba. The point is that, you are going to be in Lagos, and your businesses are going to be enabled. They are going to flourish. How? They are not going to be stifled. How? One, by reducing multiple taxation. Mm. Two, by ensuring that when you work Where with... Where is the multiple taxation? Oh, several. Like, uh, do you know the informal sector mm. pays so much more tax than even the formal sector? And these monies are not being accounted for. And these monies even... There's no direct well, well, benefit. Well, let me well, give well, you an you example. You have to document it. Yes. You let me, let, let, let me give you... Let me, make the claim, no, no, no. Huh? I, I mean, we can go all day up mm. on this, mm. right? I just gave you an example. 120 billion is being generated by NURTW every year. How is this money spent? How does it benefit the people, the members of the union? Where that's is this a, money that's is a going for to? NURTW. That's a no, but, for but but the thing is that the they government. work they work in tandem with the government, right? They do. Now, what I'm saying is this: we want a situation where my government is going to ensure that all our capital expenditure is to drive productivity in Lagos State, reduce traffic, have a good relationship with the markets. So you're not just, so for instance, this is my own solution to this thing, is having what I call the Commonwealth of Lagos. As long as you're a tax main member of Lagos State, you belong to the Commonwealth of Lagos. And all the programs that we do, 
policies we make in partnership with the people in these different peculiar localities, there's a direct incentive and benefit. So for instance, as part of my campaign, I'm testing out a micro health insurance thing. So I've done micro health insurance for about 50,000 people, just a test project. Well, Lagos already has that. Well, how many people have taken it up? It has to move. That's no, 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 no. You see, you see this, this is the problem. Yeah. This is the problem. This is the problem. Like I said, tokenism, right? Where you do things for the headlines. Now, if you're making policy that you've carried people along, you will not have to be waiting for them to pick it up. You will not. No, no, for instance, no. are you going to? Are you, are you trying to install a socialist government? No, but uh, at the same time, people are paying taxes. There should be benefits to it. Mm -hmm. There should yeah. be direct benefits. I should be able to yes, say that yes. I pay taxes, and as a result of that, I have access to a scheme that can allow me to have multi-income housing to be on the ladder. Have for you it. examined the, the, the one that uh, uh, Governor so Have you examined it? I've examined uh, it. Works. I've examined it. Works. My conversation now is about the optic of these policies. Yes, right. There are lots of things that are so done for headlines. You are riding on. You are going to ride on what has already. You are not coming with something original. No, for me, <laughs> I'm making accessibility to these policies one transparent. I give you an example. What they call affordable housing. Affordable to who is the question? But I would rather use multi-income housing, right? That's what we are saying. That no, you're now, now, on now, existing now, 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 no, 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 no. That's what if you have multi what If you have multi-income housing mm -hmm. or affordable housing, that before it gets to the market, is already been sold amongst the people in government. No, and then, then no, goes no. on to be sold it's, to developers. It's not, it's not, that's not what they, what they do now. Sir, I, I know we, how it we, we, I know we know how it works in theory. You cannot tell me that affordable housing is being developed and given to people as efficiently as, as it was done during the Jack Conley government. I know a lot of people that are involved in this racket and scam, right? You are, just making, housing clear. You are just making it clear. You have to have evidence, evidence to back them up. You know, you know. Okay, you know what? I'm going to write an article and put in papers this week on Very this good. thing. Put up right? And I'm going to, I'm I'm going to talk this. about this conversation. It's going Please to start in my interview with TVC. <laughs> this was brought up. Yes. And That'd I want to address this. That'll be interesting. I'm saying it on TV. <laughs>